Hi Taurus, it's thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you are doing really, really well. Okay, so we have Judgment, the Major Arcana. We have the Three of Pentacles and we have Temperance, the Major Arcana as well. So with the Judgment card, you know, you see the angel here blowing the horn and it's almost calling to you and calling to these people here rising out of their coffins as if to say awaken and uh, listen to what I have to say and he may be telling them to think about where you are right now think about your life that this is the time to take stock it's the time to evaluate it's the time to have your own judgment of your actions your deeds and really your purpose here so with judgment, we get a sense of really getting the call. And the call is to evaluate. It's the chance to, uh, to look past, in the past of our life, in the present, and then scope out the future. And when we have that information in this opportunity, it can feel like a rebirth. And it feels like a rebirth when you are able to say, hmm, I'm not quite doing what I want to do. I need to change things up. I need to create a, another venue that's going to bring me happiness and fulfillment because this is my one life and you know, I'm not stuck in place. I have a chance to be reborn. I have a chance to evaluate. I have these second chances, but as long as I understand, you know, where I've been and where I'm going, you know, it's up to, it's up to each person to take advantage and to do this really it's the life review and it may be simply a shorter period of time for you in terms of review it may be everything but it's ultimately you're asking yourself the questions of finding what's going to bring me peace what's going to bring me happiness and fulfillment how will I get to uh, having my life purpose and serving that so second chances, feeling like you're reborn, you know, and it could be that maybe you feel this way by incorporating more of your hobbies or taking classes at the community college or doing something that makes you feel passionate and that brings another dimension to where you are right now. So it's a, always an interesting card about judgment. It's about uh, taking stock. So interesting that we have judge, judgment right next to the three of pentacles the three of pentacles is one of tarot's group activity cards it's a community card and here we see the the builder the master builder and he is working on it looks like a cathedral some type of building that has the pentacles and seems that he's working with these other folks here maybe they're giving him advice maybe they're funding the project but there's a sense of teamwork here and harmony and cooperation. So they're working together toward a common goal. And with the Three of Pentacles, it's a matter of using your skills, using your talents and your abilities. And when you are good at what you do, people take note. And so take pride in what you do. Um, I think it's a, uh, it's a valuable skill to learn how to work with others because not everyone is easy. And when you are able to compromise, negotiate, and to create, then, you know, that's in addition to being talented at what you actually do, if you're a builder, if you're an architect, if you're a teacher or a lawyer, it's that other piece as well as to add in the personalities. So Thursday may be a day where you're working toward a common goal, where you're working with others, where you're blending each of your own ideas and your, uh, you know, your input into something greater. And so skilled work, skilled work, talent and talent. You may sometimes feel that you're not getting appreciated right now, but if you continue to do a super job and if you are continually successful with others and working with others then word gets around and referrals can be you know sent back to you for additional work 
So perhaps the judgment is having you thinking about what's going on in your career for Thursday. And then we have temperance. And temperance is always a lovely card. Temperance is uh, our angel here trying to get the right flow of water between the two cups. She has a toe dipped in the water and a toe on land. And I love always seeing the, the sun behind the mountains there. And this is a card about um, taking the moderate path, not going to extremes, not taxing yourself, not drifting off into one place and forgetting the rest of your life. So it's really finding the balance, perhaps the balance between your work and your pleasures in life, or the balance between family, work, and hobbies. And ultimately, temperance wants you to be in balance, to find your equilibrium, to maintain that equilibrium. When you overdo it, if you're working too hard, then that, that tips it into being unbalanced. And when you're unbalanced, perhaps you're not as effective. Um, you're certainly tired. And when we're tired, we don't often do our best work. With temperance, you when you see the, the foot in the water and the foot on the stone, there's a sense of the spiritual self and the physical self. And again, finding the harmony between both. Trusting uh, that spirit and guides are there behind you and perhaps leading you as well. It's a lovely card because it really is about um, ensuring that you do what you need to do to take care of yourself and to find that balance. And sometimes that means going down the middle road and again, being mindful of the edges. So do what you need to do to get yourself into balance. If you've been working too hard, then maybe you need to take an afternoon off or maybe you need to take an hour off early or something like that. Uh, get rest, get a massage, go for a walk. Do something that's going to make you feel in balance. So, you know, it, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of work to build something and communication that's, that's energy when we're working with others, when we're uh, going back and forth on our ideas. And then the judgment card, again, big, big concepts of evaluating, thinking about where you are, what you've done, where you're hoping to go. And always keeping in mind that it's never too late to chart a new course, to have a new beginning, to create a new cycle or a new phase within your life, something that's going to be meaningful. So let's take a look at the numbers. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have um, 20 and 14, that's 34, and 3 is 37, and 37 reduces to 10, and that reduces to 1. 1 is about beginnings. It's about originality, it's about leadership and um, inspiration. And finally, let me choose an oracle card and we'll get a little more information for the day. So this says the initiation, rite of passage, you're going somewhere sacred. And that is a beautiful illustration. So rite of passage, the initiation, and perhaps it's the initiation into a new phase or new area that is going to be uh, the thing that you're looking for. So I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. You know, I'm laughing when I see temperance because I just had my boy Romeo neutered and I'm tired and he's fighting the cone, the cone of shame. So um, uh, I understand completely about trying to gain and, and to keep 